Welcome back to the 30 day Jiu Jitsu Mobility Challenge. Today's session is targeted toward getting your knees to chest. We're gonna take a different approach compared to what we have in the previous days, particularly if you've been following along. This is gonna help with your guard retention and different ways of moving your hips is gonna improve your Jiu Jitsu all round. But specifically, we're looking at improving your knees to chest. So you'll need to come up against a wall for this session. And I'm gonna be facing away from the camera. Come up against your wall. And we're gonna start in what's known as an Olympic squat position. So have your feet as straight as you can throughout. I don't want your feet flaring out like this. Keep them nice and straight. And come into the widest squat that you can and make sure that you're as close as, to the, as close to the wall as you can comfortably manage. Use your feet to walk your, uh, your, walk your feet out as wide as you can. Once you are at your uh, max width, if you will, as close to the wall as you can get, then we're going to work your, your arms inside your legs here and push your knees out. You should feel this deep in your groin, which this position is kind of like a butterfly guard. So it would definitely improve diff different uh, variations of guard, different butterfly guards, improve your mobility and your strength in these positions. The more comfortable we can get you in different positions so that you can generate more power there and you're more effective. No one's ever lost a jujitsu match by being too strong or too flexible in a position. Whilst I'm talking and describing and giving cues, make sure that you're deeply breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth or your nose. Okay, now we're gonna go for a contract relax. In a moment, what I'm gonna get you to do is I'm gonna get you to drive your hands hard against your knees and at the same time resist against that force by driving your knees in. This may seem counterintuitive, but this creates a, an isometric shutdown, if you will. So we're gonna go for that now, but what I need you to do is deep, uh, breathe deep in through your nose for four seconds. We're gonna hold, we're gonna go for that isometric, go for that contract, and then we're gonna relax by breathing out for eight. Let's do it. So breathe in for four. Push, 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 contract, drive your knees in, dr drive your arms into your legs, drive, 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 and relax. It should widen out, widen out your legs here. Take up any slack that's available. We can do that by bringing yourself a bit close to the wall or walking your feet out if you can manage. Keep breathing deep into your diaphragm here. Keep the tension against your, your knees with your arms here. And we're gonna go for another contract relax cycle. Okay, let's go. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Push, push, push. Drive, drive, drive as hard as you can. And relax, relax, fully relax. Again, take up any slack that became available. Try and walk your feet downwards if you can. Basically, by using the wall, unlike the deep squat and reach position that we've done previously, we're able to get in a deeper, unrealistic position, if you will, which this very closely simulates our being, being in a guarded position because we're literally on our back, our legs are up, and instead of an opponent having weight on our legs, we're using our arms against our knees and we're using the wall. So let's go for another contract relax cycle. So breathe in deep for four. Hold and push, 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 push. Hold. And relax. Again, take up any slack that became available to you, any movement options that became available and open. Slowly release out of that position. I'm 
want you to hold your feet here and just pedal your legs. Get some blood flow back into the system. Strain them out if you need. Oh. Fall onto your side and sit up. So that is the Olympic wall squat. We have one more movement today. We're gonna come up into our deep squat. Oh, test that position out, see how it feels. You might feel a little bit tight in your groin here, but all in all, your, uh, your movement option and movement availability should have been opened up. Feel free to, um, to do more Olympic wall squats, it's definitely great. But right now we're gonna go into our knee drops. We're just gonna do one quick little set of knee drops. So previously we've done single knee drops, but today we're gonna progress onto a double knee. If you haven't done knee drops, just have a cheeky little look at the screen here. What I'm gonna do is drive my knees forward, lightly tap the mat or the, the floor in front of you and come back. I don't wanna slam my knees into the ground or anything like that. Everything is under control. As I drive my knees forward and tap the mat, I'm using my upper body as a counterweight. So we're gonna go for some reps here. So come with me. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember to breathe, seven, Really drive over your big toe. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And one more. Fifteen. Excellent. It's a quick one today, but Hopefully that served as a good introduction to the Olympic wall squat. This one you can do before class as well, and it definitely will prime your hips, prime your groin for that guard retention.